Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. Welcome to another pick a card reading. I'm so happy to be here with you. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium and I do offer mediumship based readings. You guys, all that information is priced below. So yes, I'm really excited to be here with you. Okay. Also, um, please join me on my Insta. I do have testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings. I have a bunch of cool stuff on there. And I also have um, a wonderful Reiki healing giveaway session going on as we speak. So listen, I have not chosen it yet, but I want you to be present. I do have services, okay? I have services coming up. I have all this amazing, um, just beautiful. I'm really, really merging into a new space. I want you to be a part of it. And I would love to hear from you, my loves. Yes, I would love, love, love to hear from you. So please, please be present. Yes. Okay, you guys, this is going to be a singles pick a card reading. What's coming next for the next two months? I decided we would do something for the next two months. Who's coming towards you? What's happening in love? And most of all, I just do, I, I definitely do want to say I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for all of you. It's definitely been, you know, a journey, a journey and a half. Okay, so yes. If you guys are feeling extra generous and would like to donate, I do have my cash app below. I have my Indie Deck wish list. I have my Amazon wish list and I have my PayPal. So please go ahead and check that out if you are interested. Yes, you guys, I love you. I love you so, so much. I will be uploading the Zodiacs as we move forward. Um, wow, you guys. Let's go ahead and see what's happening with your forecast, of course. Listen, you guys, I also want to give a big shout out to my subscriber who gifted me this beautiful deck. I'm really, really happy. Thank you. So I'm adding it to the collection for us here. I have new services up, you guys. I have a bunch of amazing things coming up for us. So please be present. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on with your love forecast, okay? I do have a description of my style of reading um, in the comment section below, okay? So listen, the first pile is the sacred feminine. The second is the star seeker tarot. The third is the universal weight tarot, okay? So let's go ahead and get a close-up. Okay, so just go ahead and remain in your center. If you guys need more time, please pause the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on the next two months. Who's coming towards you in love? Okay, pile one. Let's go ahead and tune into the energy to see how you're feeling. Listen, a lot of you guys, there is something around indecision here. Okay, 
I am getting a lot of indecisive energy around love, specifically starting from January. You guys have been back and forth with someone, okay? I do see a Sagittarius, a loving Sagittarius. Wow, someone who loves you dearly. Listen, this is a karmic for some of you. For others, this is a soulmate. Listen, I do feel a lot of you have been back and forth with this person or there's something around decisions, okay? You guys are still feeling really pulled. I am getting a lot of reaching. You still are reaching for this person, okay? Or this person has been reaching for your love. Wow. So we have expansion and new opportunity. Listen, you guys, you are the sunflower. You are becoming so in tune with your independence. Okay, a lot of you guys feel as if you've reached a milestone or there's something really different here. Okay, this is an opportunity for love coming up, you guys. I have to be very honest here. I do see someone with a thread. There's thread here around your feet. Okay, someone here is still very much stuck or rooted in the past. Wow. Listen, this person is very much in love with you, you guys. But I have to be very honest. This is a time of letting go. Okay, this is a time of transition. This is a time of completely, completely renewing. You guys, I am getting a lot of, you want to break out of old patterns, you want to break out of old cycles here. The person that you have been with since January, this person has really kind of weighed you down or I am getting a lot of pulling you into a place that Perhaps you've been before. Okay. It's almost as if you're trying to get out of this quicksand. Okay, my loves. So let's go ahead and see pile one. Listen, this fire sign is very much a transition for you. We have euphoria and insight. Okay. Do you feel this is a major transition for you? This person is a catalyst for your growth, you guys. Okay. It's almost like being with this person, there's something really insightful or you're gaining some kind of knowledge here. Okay. A lot of you guys feel really renewed. Okay, something about this person, although they may not be what you've expected them to be, there's something about them that is bringing something new, like this rose. I really felt this for you guys, the collective, okay? There is a renewal of a cycle. This is so beautiful, and I, I keep repeating this mainly because a lot of you may have felt love will never reach me. I'll, I'll never find someone, you know, I'll never reach that point in my life or, you know, I'm getting a lot of doubt or insecurity about your worth. Okay, well, listen, right now you guys have the deck, the divine feminine deck. This is about your rise, pile one. So we have Spirit, the Hero's Journey. Yes. Wow, you guys. You guys have a story to tell. Okay. Love has been a battlefield for you. It, it has not been easy. 
Okay, I am getting a transition here. You really want to tell your story, haikus? Okay, a lot of you may want to really share your experiences and love you guys. Storytelling. Okay, you guys are weavers of destiny. Wow. Listen, some of you, I do feel there's been a lot of crossing. You're crossing to a brighter side, okay? Or you want to just cross to a path that feels a lot lighter. It feels different. The Sagittarius of this fire sign, you guys, they are holding you back from this transformation, but with a reason, with a purpose. Okay? I do feel this is about creativity, vitality. Yes, you guys. Listen, as you cross the next two months, I do see a Capricorn for you. Okay. This is about free will and choice. My loves, listen. Wow. I have to be very honest. You guys, you're trying to break free from the past. You're trying to break free from everything that you've known. Okay, you no longer want to walk the same footsteps that you have in the past. Okay, you no longer want to follow the same direction is what I'm getting. You're ready, you guys. There's so much here ahead. You do have a Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, this person is coming towards you very quickly. Okay, two months. For others, I do feel this is about weaving your own story, your own journey, away from codependency. You're clearing your eighth house. Okay, so pile one. Listen, you guys, what's the general here? Singles, what's your transformation? Okay, so we do have the Six of Wands. Okay, Divine Feminine, listen. So here we also have this beautiful transformation around freedom, you guys. You really want freedom. Okay, you're ready. A lot of you, the Six of Wands, you're working on your confidence. You're saying, I am worthy of love. I'm worthy of more. I love who I'm becoming. And it, it feels as if the people that you're dating, they're really at your feet here. Okay, you guys are beautiful. You're working on your aesthetic, your, your mind, your body, spirit. Okay. A lot of you may have someone coming up. Again, this earth sign, this person is in the industry or they're doing something here for a living that requires um, a level up or just a different version of you. Okay, this is a soulmate, you guys, a potential long-term partner or your next, or this person is your next relationship. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with this general transformation pile one. Wow, in love. Listen, you guys are growing these beautiful, beautiful white daisies, okay? They're right outside of your fourth house. Okay, the symbolic of purity of growing faith in love again or growing in faith of other people. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Listen, I want you guys to look up the meaning of the daisies. Okay, this is really symbolic of your growth. We do have the Knight of Swords. Look at this, you guys. As your transformation. Wow. Look at you stepping into your power. Listen, a lot of you, you are 
it's almost as if you're shocking people. This fire sign, they are holding on because a lot of you guys, you are very, um, you're very unique. Something about you is very unique. I am getting um, something around bracelets, a bracelet that you wear. You're really magical. You're different. You're like a unicorn here. But you've transformed in terms of your aesthetic, your beauty, and this person does not want to lose this. Right now you're in public. Some of you guys are doing something for a living where you are front and center, okay? You're okay with your body. You're okay with the money that you're making. You're abundant, okay? Some of you are incredibly just, you're very, you're like a siren, you know? You really pull your partners in here, okay? So let's see what's going on. My singles in love. Listen. Singles in love. Your power element is the water. Okay, so really looking at the water element as a way to purify, as a way to create alchemy. Okay, the water not only heals, but you would benefit from magic. Okay, magic with the water elements. Um, we have bulls. We have rituals here around water bowls. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. What's coming towards you in love, pile one? Okay, we have the chariot. Wow. Okay. Listen. A lot of you, I, I'm getting shocking news here around love. Your partner, this person is either in the industry, I am getting someone who, this person is incredibly um, valuable in terms of their you know, community. I do see a lot of success. They're very popular. Okay, something about you, Pile One, you're in your power, you feel confident. Okay, there's something about your love right now, Pile One, it is, it's inviting so much around abundance opportunity, you're confident, you feel good about who you are, which is really wonderful. And I am getting someone who is charged to get to you. This person is at a distance. For some of you, I, I am seeing Atlanta. For others, I'm getting uh, Southern California. But something about this change, you guys, something about your transformation is pulling this person closer to you. So let's see who else. Wow. You guys, listen, the Ten of Swords, The Best of Me by Maya, this person, listen, this person really knows, this person really knows that you are valuable. And something about this, they want to create a ritual with you or they want to do some form of ceremony here. They want to perform a ceremony with you. Listen, <laughs> wow. This person is actually really, really obsessed here. Let me show you. I do see someone who is charged, okay? They have this focused vision. This person is very focused on you. I've got my eyes on you. A lot of you are trying to fight this relationship, mainly because you feel as if you have to sacrifice something about yourself. Okay, this person will help you renew, and I am getting they're also helping you heal. You guys, they are trying to get you away from a Sagittarius. Okay, 
they are trying to pull you closer to victory is what I'm getting here. This person really wants to adorn you in jewelry. They're a bit showy, okay? We do have an earth sign, or I'm getting an air sign. So what opportunities are coming towards you in love? Let's see here. Look at this, you guys. We have the Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Listen, you guys, a lot of you, you're in your power. I cannot believe this is so beautiful to see. They're okay, Leo, Sag, Aries, Pisces. Okay, I'm also getting a Scorpio here. Okay, listen, a lot of you, this person is easily tempted by, you know, the physical, by sensuality. Okay, so something about the way you sit on your throne, something around the way you sit um, very comfortably in your power, with your voice, with your truth, it's really attractive to this person, okay? They're very vulnerable with you in ways that they may have not been in the past, and I'm also getting this person, um, they tend to kind of provoke your ego, okay? Ego by Beyonce, yes. Listen, you guys, I do feel this person has some kind of connection, you guys, around money. I am having a vision of wealth, banks, or accounts. I'm also seeing um, investments, business. This person, it, it almost feels as if they love your storytelling or you guys are writers. Okay. I do see a potential Pisces in the background here, or the Knight of Pentacles. They really love how just sophisticated you are. Some of you are just very elegant, you're poised in speaking, or um, there's something about you. Okay, your writing. They really love your writing. They're pulled in by your writing. Okay. I'm also seeing you guys, this person likes to work really hard for you or they're coming towards you. Okay, this person is definitely showing up closer to April. Listen, you guys, this, wow, I'm getting a lot of competition here. Okay, this person will not allow anyone to just take over. This person, they definitely want to make sure that they win your heart. They love to debate. This person loves to battle or they're really engaged when it comes to fighting for love, love and war. By Tamara. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys, so what's coming towards you here? Listen, I'm having a vision of an emerald stone, okay, a serpentine. So love for you is about awakening your kundalini. Okay, so this is about your spiritual awakening here. Wow. A new love, a new process. Okay, this is a new start here. Listen, a lot of you, this Capricorn, I have to be very honest, you guys, they are helping you awaken your third eye. Okay? I do feel this person is going to help you with your spirituality, which I love. Okay? Wow. You are starting anew. This person, listen, you guys, your beloved, they're coming in with jewels, they're coming in with propositions. I'm also getting a lot of aesthetic and a lot of show. So this will definitely, if you, I, I'm getting if you allow, I don't know why my spirit guides are really showing me a connection that takes time to evolve. The next four months, you guys, this person, I'm seeing a grand shift here, okay? What's your advice? Pile one in love. Wow. Wow, this is so beautiful. Like this, you guys. 
Yes, this reminds me of the moon, the different moon phases. Wow, okay. This is about seeing your connection for what it is. Okay, this person is activating your power. So they are definitely a twin flame for some of you. For others, this is a soulmate. Um, this is someone who is activating a lot of wisdom. Okay, we have mother, maiden, crone. Or they're activating a lot of your clairvoyance, your psychic abilities, or your spiritual abilities. Okay, this is about seeing the love for what it is, you guys. Okay, or meaning... Um, what's that Maya Angelou you guys um, believe them the first time they show you okay this relationship is definitely filled with Neptunian influences so it can give you a feeling that nothing is wrong or it can give you a feeling that everything is wrong but it's important to really look at this from a place of wisdom okay from a place of being a crone so wow okay you guys let's do one more here Wow, we have the Ten of Wands. What is mine to carry? My favorite saying. What is mine to carry? <laughs> what is mine to carry? Listen, this is about carrying what is yours, you guys. This, this love will help you complete a cycle it's going to help you master something and you're letting it go okay you're letting go what has burdened you and I do see fruition here but this person does travel a lot so there's a requirement you guys of compromise okay something around compromise here okay thank you let's move on pile two I love you okay Let's see what's going on with you. All right. Okay, you ready, pile two? Let's do it. Let's see what's going on. Wow. You are a gift. Pile two, a lot of you, your your the people that are offering you love, wow. They are so in love with who you are. A lot of the people around you that are, um, I think I saw this uh, quote, you guys. It was, um, "Don't step to the altar unless you are ready to give an offering." Listen, people, all of these opportunities and love, they are gold. Okay, pile two. So we have solitude and diligence in reverse. Listen, you guys, a lot of you have been working on yourselves in therapy. I am getting a lot of active energy around manifesting new love. You're working on your, you know, your shadow work, or you're working with a healer, a psychic, okay? I do feel a lot of healing around your birth chart. My spirit guides are saying something around a birth chart here, you guys. Let me know if that resonates. Saturn. Okay, so there's so much around... Um, really learning from your, your karmic lessons. And the more you've really uh, fulfilled these experiences, you guys are shining like gold. Your, your aura looks so beautiful. It's gold. It's bright. Um, you are radiant. Something around pyrite. You guys, please work with pyrite or... Um, a gold stone it will help you amplify your energy in love okay 
So let's go ahead and see what's happening for you. A lot of you, listen, some of you guys have been searching for love. I'm getting a lot of seeking. You're looking for the best, you know, um, version of yourself more than anything. You're really focusing on the, the wisdom in love. Okay, so let's see what's happening for you. Pile two. Okay, so we have reconciled differences. Okay, pile two. Some of you guys are still holding on to someone from a different space, okay? This is someone who currently lives in the East Coast, or I'm getting someone who has been um, really moving through an end of a cycle. They're looking for um, a, just a new birth. Okay, this person really wants a new beginning here. Okay, I do feel this is actually giving a lot of... Listen, you guys, there's fruition here. This person may have left you a bit cold. I am getting a Capricorn. I'm getting a Libra or a Leo. Okay, there's something around their disconnection or their, their exit here that really challenged your some sense of esteem, some of you guys. Okay, so some of you guys are really, 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 wow, you're still in love with this person, which I love. I'm so sorry if I giggle, you guys. I can really, I do a lot of remote seeing here. And I can really um, see. <laughs> I've been working on a lot of my, my spirituality. So if I giggle, okay. So listen, <laughs> there's so much here around this person really activating truth, okay? Not just truth, but you guys, something around them walking away. I'm getting a lot of I'm a new me in common by Alicia Keys. Okay. This has been a back and forth connection. I do feel there's been an obsession here. A bit of, I can't let you go. I can't see myself without you. But let's see, singles. What's happening here? Pile two. Okay. We do have, give it time. Wow. Give it time. Listen. A lot of you have given this person opportunities. How many more? I'm getting a lot of you are saying, how many more? Okay. How many more? Listen. There is a change for you, March 24th, you guys. This person is definitely someone who spends a lot of time in the rain and having a vision of the rain. It purifies. Okay, I do feel you want closure. Someone here wants closure. Your love has aged. Okay, your love has aged. Wow. Yes. Okay, you guys. Someone here wants their bracelet back. I do see a love that was promised. Okay, this person may have promised something. I am getting a lot of um, waiting. You know, you're still, there's a stillness here, but you're still waiting to see if this can manifest. Okay. So let's see what's happening. See what's going on for you. Listen, singles. Okay, some of you guys have been really worried about your foundation. Okay, there's something around your footsteps, your journey. Okay, your feet. So we have Pisces, we have sacrifice. Okay, there's so much here around compromising your sense of security or stability. This person may have asked you to move for them and things are not working out here. Or there's something around travel not going so well most recently. Okay, so let's do a central theme here. Okay, 
so you have the two of pentacles wow okay yes you guys i don't want to know one of my favorite songs and i can't believe by faith faith evans yes listen a lot of you guys are wondering if you should disconnect from this person some of you guys are really in love and I do see a lot of um, promises, broken promises, you know, this has not really moved into fruition the way you want, but you're hoping for the best, you're really holding on here. Okay, you're holding on to the full moon, okay, this beautiful orb of promise, this orb of wealth. Okay. Let's see, you guys. There's so much around your life right now. Some of you guys are really worried about your finances, your stability, okay? Your long-term plan is what I'm getting. Wow. So, central theme here. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. This person has been uh, very reserved, you guys. This is someone from the past. You moved for this person, or somebody here moved or journeyed out of their comfort zone to be with the other. But they've been so, I'm getting a lot of, I was not expecting this, okay? There's something around this person, you guys. They have closed their eyes to you, or they're their world around them. This may be around apartments, okay, shared spaces or experiences. But let's talk about your transformation within this, you guys. I can really feel, even just looking at this card here. There's so much around the movements. You're moving with the ripples, you guys, of the earth. You're moving with a lot of the movement, okay? So the changes, you're flowing with them, but you're, there's fear. Am I stable enough? Okay, am I stable enough? Let's see, you guys. Listen, your ancestors, you guys, are very powerful. They love you, Pile 2. They're reminding you that no matter where you go, you are planting the sun, okay? So love isn't so much about the person. It's more about you. You're carrying the crown. You're carrying the legacy, okay? So let's see what's happening for you. Yes, we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, listen, you guys. Some of you may have recently lost a job because of this, or money, or savings, or your stability. Okay, so this has really shifted your perspective on love. Through with Love by Beyonce. You see how this king, they really close their eyes here. This person is avoidant of seeing what you've done. Okay, so this love, wow. It's actually, it's really beautiful, you guys. Some of you may feel, what was the point? But listen, all these pieces are coming back together for you. All these pieces are really actively coming back together for you. So what opportunities in love, you guys? Listen, some of you, May is a very active month for long-term engagements. Okay. April, you have several people at your feet, but something about this person here, okay? Something about this person, they have really compromised your sense of inner stability. A lot of you, your ancestors are very magical. They want to remind you of your power, the Nine of Swords. This, listen, <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, they want to remind you of who you are. Okay. This person really pulled the not not even the rug, honey. They pulled the the, the whole earth here. Okay. 
they pulled the earth under your feet. Okay. There's so much around. There's so much around being threatened, you guys, that they'll do anything to just shake you up. Okay. I am getting a lot of um, publicly trying to embarrass you instead of lifting you up or instead of making you feel good about yourself or making you feel confident. But this actually um, helped you, okay? It actually really improved your life, okay? Your ancestors, they cloak themselves, okay? How often? How often? How often? Even as I speak. How often? Listen, your ancestors, they want to remind you of who you are. Okay? They do cloak themselves. They are very magical and they come from the earth. So this person, you know, they activated a lot of your serpent power. Okay? This person is... They are incredibly, wow, they actually opened up this opportunity, okay, with your tribe, with your descendants, okay, listen, you guys, wow, We have the Three of Cups. You are celebrated. There's nothing about you that is not celebrated. Okay? Everything about you is in deep celebration. Okay? You have offers coming up. I do see an engagement for you May. You guys, May 24th. But prior to that, you have more than one opportunity. Okay? It's up to you if you want to see it, you guys. Some of you are really worried, okay, you're, you're worried about making this mistake again, this person really pierced you with the rattlesnake, they're symbolic of that rattlesnake there, they really um, took a bite here, or they just, um, they're poisonous, you guys, I'm so sorry, wow, okay, so what's coming towards you in love? The sun. Yes, you guys. Listen, a lot of you, this partnership, there's a feeling of abandonment here or a feeling of losing your finances or your financial stability. Okay. A lot of you kind of, you know, I am getting a lot of feeling left out in the cold or feeling kind of um, led on. Okay, this person kind of led you on, you guys, and I do feel a lot of, yeah. I want you guys to focus on the most positive aspects as we move ahead, okay? You guys may feel as if you want to close yourself off to joy completely because of what has happened. Okay, this person is helping you grow a new tree of life. They're helping you grow a new sense of um, prosperity, abundance. Okay, so what is the outcome? Listen, there is a Scorpio here. This person is very, very curious about you. I do feel love at first sight. Allow love to enter. Listen, you guys. Wow. A lot of you, I, I do feel you've kind of closed your, your mind, your spirit, your body to love in general. Okay, there's something about this. Um, experience. Some of you are 
going through a divine intervention, you're feeling fearful of manifesting new love, but you have so much in front of you, so our mind can play tricks, okay? Everything else is right in front of you. You have tools, you have a new beginning right in front of you, but I am getting a bit of some fogginess around what has happened. So it's really important you guys see it from a different perspective. Allow love to enter from a place of freedom, from a place of a fresh start, or just being more open, okay, as much as you can. A lot of people have watched you, okay, you are the sun, okay, don't forget you are the sun. Okay, let's go on. I love you guys, hang in there, pile three, let's see what is happening here. see what's going on with you, pile three. Wow. Some of you guys feel judged in love or um, I don't know why I'm getting, you're covering uh, who you are, you're cloaking who you are. Okay. of you guys. There's been so much around. Wow. Yeah. Listen, when I see cloaking, you guys, I also think about hidden agendas. I also think about uh, connections that are also affairs. Okay, so we do have anticipation and excitement. Listen, singles, pile three, a lot of you may have really felt as if, am I good enough? Okay, there's been a lot around, am I good enough? So I am getting a lot of covering, covering your eyes. You're using your intuition and love. Okay. Let's do a central theme here. There's been definitely some stillness here. Wow. Listen, February. There's been a huge, wow, dance for life and love. Yeah. Some of you guys were dealing with a person you were just intimate with. I am getting a lot of uh, back and forth or conversation here. Someone that you really cared for. I am seeing that this person has also really, really drastically changed their mind. I'm getting a lot of differences here, like that song, Jenny Wine. Okay, you guys have some differences. In my vision, I'm seeing a lot of thread here. One person is pulling this way. The other person is pulling the other. Okay, so we do have a power struggle. Wow. Listen, be a friend or an ally. You trusted this person, okay? You really trusted this person. I do feel you guys are working from your sacral here. You're manifesting new love or you're trying to, it, it feels as if you're manifesting new ways of loving, love languages. Yeah? You're trying to tune into your confidence. You really want to feel your experiences rather than just rationalize love, okay? This person that you've been dealing with, a Leo, okay? I am getting a Sag, Aquarius, Freedom. This was the center theme of your relationship, Freedom. Okay. Wow. Let's go ahead and see center, you guys. Your love reminds me of seasons. 
you guys are actively in it. It feels as if you really love relationships that feel different. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles as a center theme here. Okay, you guys. Some of you have really watched someone very closely. Or this person has been watching you. Okay? There's a bit of an obsessiveness to be um, what you want them to be. Something around your, your ability to disconnect from others. Okay? Especially if you're an air sign. I do see singles. You have an earth sign here who is hard at work. They want your attention. Okay, they really appreciate you. How can I be what you want me to be? Okay. This person has been really working towards manifesting you. I do see road trips. You guys may travel a lot for work or you're constantly um, really involved with your work life here. And they watch you. They just don't show you. Okay. They love that you are really hard to keep up with. I am getting the number nine here. So we have Jupiter. You love your job. Or some of you guys are really focused on your career endeavors with the Page of Wands. Okay. Listen, you guys. Some of you have met... I am getting at, um, I'm having a vision here of a museum, pictures, photos, art. For others, it may have been an exchange of energy. I'm getting fast movement here. Okay. There's something that was really fast, an event. Okay, you guys are moving back and forth in my vision. You guys are really shifting back and forth here. your transformation you guys the dark moon working with a black moonstone will really amplify your love life this year and a big part of what i'm seeing is you're working on receiving love you guys okay temperance okay listen you guys i've been keeping my eye out on you i've been watching you i love to see you grow you guys have secret admirers here. You have love at every corner. Okay, we have the temperance. Wow. You are really mastering this earth angel frequency. You are an alchemist. A lot of you, you may be a Reiki master, you're a Reiki practitioner, you're a healer, you're a psychic, you're doing something for a living, you could be a counselor, but you're traveling, a travel nurse, okay, you're constantly creating, you're constantly in motion. Okay, and there's something so beautiful about your wings, your, your freedom, your third eye, you guys are intuitive and you're bright. Okay, you're an angel. You help this person grow at a distance. Some of you have an active platform or an active uh, social media account. So let's see. What's next in love here? The singles. Okay. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, I'm all cried out. Listen, a lot of you, if you have a Scorpio moon... Or Scorpio rising, you guys have not talked about your pain, you guys there's been a lot of avoidance of true love or you're avoiding intimate connections because of your past I do see some of you guys are writing an article uh, based on PTSD, trauma, domestic violence, or anything around relationships in the future this is actually going to be a theme for you okay wow I'm also seeing there's an element of you guys are feeling over overdone with something or I'm, I'm just over it okay you may be numbing by overdoing something here okay it could just be I want to forget meanwhile you do have 
this person actively watching you and they're very much in love with you. Wow. So let's see what opportunities you guys. Some of you may just want a, a connection that is, yes, that is physical. Okay, or this person um, that's coming into your life, they may, there's this euphoria about them. There's this something very special. For some, there's this, it's like they're, they're very addictive to be around. They're fun, they're exciting. Okay. Wow. But I do feel there's a pause in terms of long term right now, pile three. Listen, the next three months, I am getting a lot of movement around your stomach area. So for me, this is about your sacral, your creative energy you're creating. Okay, everything about your life right now is really connected to Gaia. You're in a state of creation, you're blossoming, you're cultivating. For others, there is a pregnancy here, so please be careful. Okay, wow. So we do have the High Priestess. Yes, you guys, secret. Some of you guys are choosing a sense of spirituality. You're embarking on a new journey in terms of religion, um, an initiation in magic, or you're doing something completely um, that requires sobering in love. Okay, for others, you guys are very private about your love life the next few months. The person coming towards you this person is really just, I'm getting a lot of around the periphery of your heart. So there's a hidden agenda here or someone who wants a connection that's private, okay? This person wants something very private, you guys. Okay. So what's going on here for you singles with the high priestess? Okay, Divine Feminine, yes. <laughs> wow. You guys, you are, listen, you are meeting your twin flame or your soulmate this lifetime. Okay, some of you already know you're waiting for this person at a distance. There's this clarity about this person, you're really sure. Okay, and this person is now awakening. By December, I do see a connection or an opportunity to connect with a Leo, Sag, Aries. Okay. Wow. So let's see, you guys, what opportunities. Let's see. Some of you are very wise. Okay, the collective, you know who your person is. You also have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You have several opportunities here. A soulmate, a twin. Okay, I am getting um, self-discovery around the masculine or around these opportunities here. Okay, you're learning how to love yourself more. I do feel these people want to collaborate with you. Your twin has no idea what's going on. They're like, what, I'm a twin flame, when? When did this happen? Okay, but they are very protective of you. I do feel this is someone you know in passing. Okay, a soulmate. We have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, Fight for Your Love or Fight for You by Bryson. My favorite. It's one of my favorite songs, you guys. Okay, so what's next? You have options, you guys, but some of you are really focusing on private, a private connection, a connection that's wealthy in terms of spirit, maybe a beneficial uh, connection that's transactional, okay? So yeah, the strength card in reverse, yes. 
Okay. Wow. This is it, you guys. Some of you guys have this feeling. Listen. You're giving in to temptation. Specifically, if you're dealing with someone who has a position in a higher power or they're an authority figure, some of you be aware of giving into temptation unless this is something that you want. This person will not be permanent, an air sign. Or there's a potential here. I'm getting a lot of infidelity. Okay, we have the Four of Cups. Listen. Wow. Okay, you guys, self-discovery, this keeps coming, um, very, it's very present, you guys, a high priestess, it's very obvious, there's an encouragement of being present, being sober, being sober in love, and looking at this from a place of opportunity, okay, wow. This is also about an opportunity that you may feel it's oh well it's stagnant okay I'm single that's great but this is more around meditating on your self-love you guys on putting yourself first okay you matter you are worthy you are more than worthy in love you are beautiful Okay, so what's your advice? You have opportunities everywhere, you guys. Wow. So let's see, what is the advice here for you, pile three? Self-love, you guys, the chariot. Listen, some of you guys are feeling really... You guys just are feeling really charged you want to find a partner you're ready okay you want to get married or some of you just want someone to travel with please do not misdirect your energy or misdirect an opportunity here okay do not um, it almost feels as if you guys are tempted to sway in a different direction due to your pain you guys people have no idea what you've been through okay your partnerships here Okay, they have completely created this armor or barrier you've tried to protect yourself so as you move ahead I do see a lot of you it's time to move slow and really look at your direction in love okay look at the direction so let's look at the outcome here so we have the six of cups okay listen you guys you guys are going to work through a lot of your inner child with your partners as you move ahead this is about unrequited love and healing um, relationships that are one-sided especially for Scorpio you guys okay you are finding listen the next few months you're really you're really excited there's so much love here you guys there's so much love wow Also generous, generous and love you guys. Please be kind to your person. Yes. So we have the five of cups. Okay. Listen, you guys, I do feel you're definitely feeling challenged around your sadness you're gonna listen you're creating a story out of this okay so I want you to have faith this is an alchemic experience it's really beautiful it's absolutely beautiful okay have faith 
trust in your divine path and please heal heal my loves what is the outcome So we have the five of swords yeah you guys listen ego we have a lot of power plays here some of you want to lash out and take this out on other people okay some of you guys may feel as if the more partners you have around you it's going to help you feel better or it's going to heal that part of yourself okay Wow, but this is about what's worth fighting for, okay? Pick and choose your battles, you guys. Is it worth it? Yeah? Okay. I love you. Bye.